Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In this session, we are going to learn how to visualize distribution of data. The first, we can use histogram to see the data. Then uh, we can use density plot, box plot, violin plot. Then uh, dot plot is there, strip plot is there. This is the ridge line plot. Then uh, this plot is the biswam plot. This is uh, eye plot, half eye plot, and this is rain cloud plot. In this session, we are going to learn how to get all these visualizations. For these visualizations, we will require three libraries, ggplot2, ggdist and ggbswarm. And if you don't have these libraries installed, then go to tools, install packages and type ggplot there, ggplot2, select from the drop down list, comma, then another package is ggdist, dist, Select from the drop down list and then ggbswarm, ggbswarm and select it and click install. This will get installed. I have installed it, therefore, I will not install again and I will uh, run these libraries. Run library get, got loaded, library got loaded, and this library also got loaded. For this demonstration purpose, we are going to use iris data set that is bundled with R and to see what is there in iris, we'll use the head function iris. And we see here that iris contain five variables, four numeric variables, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width, and fifth is the character variable. And we'll see structure of iris to see what is there. It's a factor variable with three levels, setosa, versicolor, and third level is virginica. Now, we'll start plotting. We'll call ggplot. And the first argument is data, that is iris, and this iris is bundled with R. Then aesthetic mapping, AES, and first plot will go for histogram, and that is monovariate plot. We are going to plot sepal length, sepal dot length, comma, and we'll add geom, that uh, plus sign, and then we'll add geom. Geom, histogram, will plot first, and then we'll run that. And here we have this histogram, but it is not showing those three categories. To show those three categories, we'll map the spaces variable to fill attribute. Fill is equal to spaces and we'll run that. Uh, histogram is there, but uh, those are overlapping and opacity is there. Overlap is not clearly visible. Therefore, we'll play with transparency alpha in the geom histogram. Alpha is equal to 0 0.3 we'll go for and we'll have the transparency modified. 0 0.3 looks quite light, therefore we'll go for the 0 0.5 and a good histogram is there. We want those border also to be colored and therefore we'll map color to again spaces. A nice histogram is there. This code we are going to use for other plots. I have copied the code, I will paste here and now I will put here geom density. I have just modified that histogram to geom density. I will run that and this geom density is and density plots are good to show distribution of data where uh, observations are very few and for large number of observations histogram is a good visualization. A uh, third plot we'll use is the box plot and box plot is bivariate plot. The first variable is categorical that is spaces that is x axis now sepal length will become the y axis all other things will keep same and instead of density here we'll add box plot please remember we have just added spaces as x axis automatically sepal length got converted to y axis we'll run that a uh, box plot is there a nice box plot transparency we have adjusted using the alpha the same code we are going to keep for other plots i'll copy the code again i will bring that code to new line and here instead of box i will put violin box plot is difficult to understand for people who don't have statistical background because this shows five point summary minimum first quantile second quantile third quantile and maximum and uh, uh, but violin shows the local densities i will run that a uh, violin is showing local densities and that alpha we have deleted i will modify the alpha a good violin is there. These local densities that maximum num uh, number of observations are there at uh, 5 centimeter in setosa, around uh, 5.7 centimeter in versicolor, and around uh, 6.35 or uh, 6.4 centimeters in 
uh, virginica those local densities are clearly visualized by uh, violin plot now this violin plot will use another one that is dot plot again this is the geom provided by ggplot dot plot this dot plot requires some another attributes here you can see the error is there it requires bin axis i will just remove this alpha because it's not required here bin axis is equal to y and we'll run that and dots are there these dots are slightly larger because the size is dependent on the bin width therefore that bin width will adjust here using dot size dot size we are not adjusting actually bin width but we are reducing the dot size dot size will put at 0.5 and we'll see how it looks like it's uh, quite good the direction we can change tack direction will make it center so that the uh, right side uh, of the dots will change to center and a good dot plot is there now we'll see another version of dot plot which is obtained using the function from ggb swarm and for that we'll use the same code copy that code here and instead of dot plot i will put b swarm there and this bin axis and all those attributes are not required now for b swarm because b swarm automatically takes those by default it takes those and a nice b swarm plot is there where local densities of those data values are visible clearly we'll move towards another one that is the geoms offered by ggdist and uh, we'll copy the code again put that code here instead of b swarm we'll put there stat dot stat dot and i will run that dots s is required i'll run that stat dots is there and uh, this is again similar to the dot plot we can use geom jitter also to show distribution geom jitter will run that and we can see the distribution here but this distribution is not much informative because these points are too close to each other in different categories we'll adjust that using position argument position is equal to position jitter and in jitter we'll add 0.5 we'll run that and we'll see what effect that jitter has 0.5 is quite large we'll make it 0.1 and we'll see how it looks like and this plot is called as strip plot a nice plot to show data distribution now we'll move towards another offerings from the uh, library ggdist that is stat i we are going to use here stat i we'll run that and this stat i is there we'll adjust the alpha to see the internal uh, structures of this stat i it's quite interesting data visualization distribution this dot you can see is the median every in each category that dot is there then the dark slightly bolder line is there and this line represent the range of a uh, mean plus minus uh, one standard deviation that is 67% of data is within this region and then the lighter line thinner line which is outside this darker line is uh, for the range mean plus minus 1.96 standard deviation that is 95% of the data is within this range this i we can modify to half i using this stat half i we'll run that the half will not be there this is for the offerings provided by the geoms now we'll combine ggplot geoms and uh this uh, ggdish do geoms to get a nice data visualization called as uh, rain cloud plot and for that we'll require this geom half i i will copy this i'll bring that here and that geom half i will be overlapped with the box that is geom box plot and we'll run that the box is quite wider and doesn't look good it overlaps the half i therefore we'll adjust the height using width is equal to 0.12 you can play with the number but the box alpha we have to adjust that alpha is equal to 0.3 and the median is visible this overlap we have to remove and to remove the overlap we'll add in the stat half i the argument justification and just if you will justify that uh, so that this uh, half i will get 
moved to the right hand side and there 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 to move towards the right side and we'll run that and it has moved towards the right side. Now we'll add the next geom that is stat dot stat dots and we'll run that. Now these dots are there default positioning of dots is towards right side. We'll change that by using side is equal to left and we'll run that. Now dots are towards right side but those are overlapping the boxes. Again we will use uh, justification argument justification is equal to this time we want to move those towards left side therefore we'll use 0 point plus 1.1 justification plus because we want them to uh, get shifted to the left side and dots got shifted towards the left side now it doesn't look like the uh, rain cloud therefore we'll move flip it chord flip so that our x-axis will become vertical and this is a nice rain cloud plot. We'll make it publication ready now by customizing it. Theme. And I will use the theme black and white. Now if you see this legend is superfluous or redundant because the information is there on the x axis. We'll remove the legend theme. Then legend dot position. We can move towards the top, left or bottom or right, but this time we don't want it. Therefore, that position will be none and it is in inverted quote, please, please remember. And this plot is there. We can add title, subtitle using labs. We can add caption also. We can add X and Y axis also, uh, axis titles also to make this plot more informative. And keep on practicing data visualization. If you like this video, please hit like button please subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed to it yet uh, if you want notifications of my new videos please click the notification button thanks thanks for watching this video